Welcome to Cadillac Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Friday night, the Mets return home, a late night in Atlanta after a rainout, and they uh, staged a little late night comeback as the Mets came from six runs down to beat the Marlins. Eight to seven, a five run seventh inning put the Mets over the top. And it was a huge seventh inning where they collected six hits on two doubles. Uh, they walked in the go ahead uh, run with two outs. Bearclaw struck out two guys. The big heroes were uh, TJ, both Rivera's. TJ Rivera uh, got the two run double that, that, that tied the ball game. And uh, just a tremendous effort by the Mets here uh, on, uh, to come back and win this game. After coming in, we'll probably get into bed at 4 in the morning, be down, as Gary said, 7-1. to one. A lot of heroes here. Uh, Rivera with the three RBIs in the two-hole. Just did a terrific job tonight. Uh, you know, you just try to slow things down. Those kind of, you know, everything starts to speed up a little bit. Uh, you know, you don't want to do too much. Uh, you know, you got some, some runners on base and you need to drive them in. So, you know, my approach there was to see something up because that guy has some good, uh, has some good uh, sink to his ball. So see something up and something I can barrel. Uh, early in the count, um, and you know it, it happened to be the first pitch. He doesn't draw walks, you know he hits, and you know when you look at his numbers in the minor leagues, you know he's on base, 370, but he hits 350, you know so he's not a big walk kind of guy. He swings the bat, and that's, and that's who he is. And so you know he's dangerous because he can he knows he's ha- he has the ability to put the barrel on the ball any place he's ever played. That's one of the things you hear about him. Look, he just hits. He just hits the ball in the barrel, and when you do that, you can do damage. I think we all have that mentality, you know, no matter what the, the situation is. We were down uh, quite a few runs, uh, and Grandy's home run, you know, kind of changed momentum a little bit, and then kind of put us back in that ball game. Uh, and I think we all kind of knew that. Uh, and then we just started to put together that bats had a really big inning there um, against Ziegler, so uh, we just glad we come on our top. You got to be resilient. You just got to play nine innings and, and go up and put good at bats on. I mean, Ziegler's as tough as there is to face, and they just put good at bats on. Didn't try to do too much. You know, worked the middle of the field, as you saw. Um, very, very impressed with, by the way, they went about things. Curtis Granderson hit a two-run homer mm-hmm. to start the comeback a little bit earlier. Meanwhile, Rafael Montero made his first start of the year subbing for Noah Syndergaard. Got knocked out in the fourth, but the bullpen did the job. Yeah, he's going to have to be better. 90 pitches uh, uh, in three and two-thirds innings. But Smoker came in. He kind of uh, waffled a little bit, also giving up a couple of runs. But after that, the five relievers after that scoreless baseball uh, had to get 16 outs tonight, and the bullpen did it. So they were as big as the offense for the Mets tonight. I'll tell you one of the things that I see. Uh, when the ball's close to the strike zone, they don't swing at it. And I'm just wondering if he's... You know, maybe tipping his pitches or something because they're they're just laying off some balls from the side. They look like pretty good pitches. Um, so we're, I'm going to have Dan take a look tomorrow. But you know, he's he's got a he's got enough ability to pitch here. He's just got to be able to command his stuff better. I think I'm trying not to let that frustrate me. Um, it's just a part of, of the game. I just know that I have to come back next time and do a better job, keep working at it. And maybe as important as anything, Reed and Familia at the end of the game looked like Reed and Familia last year. They really did. Uh, Reed just blew the hitters away. And Familia, for me, when he comes in, and Keith mentioned, when he starts an inning, he's different. When he comes in, it's strike one, strike two. It's a totally different Familia. And uh, he was spot on tonight. So the Mets start the homestand with the win. Saturday night, Robert Gazelman goes to the Mets for the Mets. The game will be on Pix 11 on Saturday. Coverage begins at 6.30. That'll do it for Cadillac Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.